This video will be a demonstration of bidirectional synchronization between Active Directory and Domino. There will be a follow-up video eventually which is going to show you how to build this. Now the scenario is that we want to do our user provisioning in Active Directory. This is where we'll add new users, delete those that already exist, or make modifications to them. And we want this information reflected as quickly as possible in Domino. That's why we have this upper assembly line. This one uses a, an AD change connector to listen for changes in that system, and then we propagate those to Lotus Domino. Now, all of the attributes are passed on in an add, but in the case of a modify, we don't move the mail to Domino. And that's because of all the attributes a user has, the mail address will be managed from Domino instead. So, we have an additional assembly line, and this one is set up using the Domino change connector to pick up any changes made there, and then we pass on only changes to the internet address, the uh, internet mail address. We pass those on to Active Directory. Now both of these assembly lines have very similar logic. They start off with the change detection component. We then have a branch to determine whether this is an, a delete operation. If it is, we then go on to delete handling. If it's not, we can use update mode in a connector because update mode will both add a new entry if it doesn't find it already or it will update the contents of one if it does. If we open the working with Domino config in the TDI config editor we can see these two assembly lines that we just talked about here. Here's the one that syncs changes from Active Directory to Domino. We start off with an Active Directory change detection connector and then we branch on deletes to call our Domino user connector in delete mode Otherwise, we call it an update mode, and we pass that information in. If we take a look at the reverse assembly line, this one starts with a domino change connector. We detect if we are doing an add or delete, because that means that somebody made changes to users like this directly in domino, and we may want to send out alerts. Otherwise, we update the Active Directory user email. Now, I've started both of these by pressing the Run button. And now I can see that them bo they're both initialized and ready to go. So let me bring up the Domino Administration Console. You see I've got one user here. And I've got the Active Directory Console. So we'll go in here and we'll add a new user. Give him a password. And now TDI should have transferred him already to Domino. Let me press F9 to refresh this. And there's his entry. We've now got a user in Domino. If we go in and make changes to John Anderson, like giving him a telephone number or an email address, then the assembly line is set up to transfer this information and transfer the email address if none has been set yet. However, if we make changes to this guy directly and we change his email address, we want that transferred back to Active Directory. Of course, at this point, since there already is data in Domino, the rule that we built in our assembly line says don't keep updating the internet address from this point. So if I change this to something else, then that won't be transferred back here. And finally, we have the delete operation that we want to handle as well. So we'll just delete our user here. We'll then have to tell admin P to process this. With Domino, the changes are, or the requests for changes are put into the queue for the administration process, which then carries out the actual delete. And now if we press F9 to refresh this, he's gone again. 